and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about a very useful Docker command for cleaning up junk that gets left around. Uh, you know, if you work with Docker a lot, you'll notice that it takes a lot of disk space, and I'm going to show you a relatively safe command that you can run that will free up stuff that is definitely not used anymore. Um, so first off, let me show you some of the things that might accumulate by running Docker or running Docker slightly incorrectly. I'll actually link to another video about a command flag that prevents one type of, uh, you know, leftover stuff from this. Uh, but the first is Docker P or Docker images. Yeah, we'll start with that. Um, so when you run Docker images, this is actually the Podman output, so it might be slightly different than what you'll see. You'll see that sometimes you'll get these none images left behind. And what these are, are previous images that have been, uh, their, their tag has been rewritten. So in this case, like, I think I built this test image three times to get it correctly. And so the third time that I built this, you know, it, it labeled the last image as test and the previous ones lost their tag because test became this tag. Um, and Docker doesn't automatically clean up things that are unreferenced like this. Uh, the other thing that might stick around for a while is if you do Docker run, uh, but you don't specify dash dash rm. So if we just did Ubuntu focal echo high, so the, the default run does the wrong thing because, you know, Docker was designed by geniuses. And uh... <laughs> But if you run Docker ps dash a, you'll see that that container that we just ran is still chilling out. It's still there, uh, but it's in this uh, exited state, which... You can do some like analysis after the fact on this container and restart it and do some other stuff. But the number of times that I've restarted a container is almost zero. So it's it's not usually that useful to, to look at all of this stuff after the fact. But fortunately, there is a command that will clean up all of this cruft for you, and that is docker system prune. I usually run it with dash F. Uh, if you don't run it with dash F, it will prompt you for uh, confirming stuff, so I'll just show you it prompting me. Um, so you'll see this will remove all stop containers, all networks, all dangling images, uh, all networks not used. Yeah, unused networks, stop containers, dangling images, and dangling build cache. Uh, I guess I didn't go over the build cache stuff for the networks here, but it'll also clean up unused networks, which are nice as well. But this is a uh, stopped container, and these are, you know, dangling images. So if we said yes to that, it would delete it. Uh, but if we do Docker system prune dash f you'll see that it'll automatically clean that stuff up for me. And it'll tell you, I think Docker does this as well. It'll tell you how much space it, it reclaimed. So it was able to it was able to delete a full, you know, 150 megs from, from this here, which is more than I expected, to be honest. But that's, I don't know, that's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, that's Docker system prune dash F, uh, which is a fairly useful command. Uh, this is something you can throw on like a cron job or whatever. Um, I. I mean, I don't have cron because this isn't a persistent system, so I just run this command periodically myself. But anyway, hopefully this was interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.